Greetings, my fellow Americans in Senegal and Guinea-Bissau. The last two months have been a challenging period for many of us. I hope that you and your families are safe and healthy. During this unprecedented time, please be assured that your government is still hard at work for you here in the region and worldwide. We have worked hard to bring home more than 8,500 U.S. citizens from 135 countries on 925 flights, including hundreds from Senegal. For those of you still in Senegal and Guinea-Bissau, we know that you are adapting to a different way of doing business from how you shop to how you spend time with friends and families to how you attend school and even worship in order to prevent the spread of COVID-19. We too have adapted how we work. The entire embassy community is engaged and committed to responding to your needs in a manner that is safe and supports appropriate prevention measures. This means that we have had to suspend routine counselor services. However, our counselor staff continues to provide emergency services and we are available 24-7 at Dakar ACS at state.gov. We will resume routine services when it's safe to do so and with social distancing measures in place to ensure your safety and the safety of our staff. The U.S. government and the American people are committed to working with government and public health partners in the region in the fight against COVID-19. On top of our long-lasting support of Senegal and Guinea-Bissau's public health sectors, USAID has directed an additional 3.9 million US dollars in funding towards the pandemic response in Senegal, donated over 600 hand washing stations and hygiene kits, and has trained community health workers in multiple locations. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control, CDC, is daily on the ground with our Senegalese counterpart, lending expertise and resources to the government of Senegal to assist in its response, while also offering continued support to public health partners in Guinea-Bissau. And our military has donated, supplied, and trained staff at the field hospital deployed in Tuba. They also financed the construction and equipment of the emergency operations center currently used to manage the COVID-19. American private sector, to date, we have coordinated nearly 700 thousand US dollars worth of donation from the American business community in Senegal. These are just a few examples of the ongoing work your fellow Americans and our government are doing to help make Senegal and Guinea-Bissau safer for all of us. We know that many of you have made much appreciated contributions to combating COVID-19 in your communities. Stay safe. Together, we will get through this. Take care of each other. I count on you. Long live the cooperation between the people of the United States of America and the people of Senegal and Guinea-Bissau. Thank you very much.